Hey guys, Slam here from Speedline Technology. Welcome to Cyberbyte, the home of the latest and greatest news and reviews in one video on YouTube every week. So this week I'm actually going to be talking about Delta, the airline, equips 11,000 pilots with Microsoft Surface 2 tablets. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Online launch faces server worries. Uh, National Rail mobile internet speed set to get faster and the UK to create a new cyber defense force. So uh, firstly, the recently launched Microsoft Surface 2 which runs the Windows RT 8.1 platform has been given to 11,000 pilots who fly for the American airline Delta. The company say the tablets will be used to provide crews with key charts and navigation tools with a customized application. This should hopefully um, this should hopefully eliminate paper resources. This means that Delta pilots will no longer need to carry a 17 kilogram flight bag around with them, reducing fuel consumption. The company expects all of its cockpits to be paperless by the end of 2014. Delta has previously tested Apple iPads as potential electronic flight bags, which is EFBs, uh, but has recently embraced Microsoft devices. In August of in August of 2013, they equipped 19,000 flight attendants with Nokia Lumia 820 smartphones, which also run on a Windows operating system. The sight of pilots wheeling heavy cases through airports is a familiar one, but electronic alternatives have been around for decades. Many commercial airlines now use tablets as EFBs, and the devices are even common among single-seat or recreational pilots. A custom-built application called Flight Deck Pro, developed by aerospace technology company Je Jeppesen, which is a subsidiary of Boeing, has been installed on each Microsoft tablet. They will contain Thousands of electronic documents, charts, navigational aids, checklists, and other key reference materials. The new Windows 8.1 platform allows users to view two applications side by side, a feature which Delta said made the Surface 2 tablets an attractive op um, option for its cockpits. The airline estimates the weight reduction resulting from the switch to paperless cockpits will reduce fuel usage by 1.2 million gallons per year, leading to a reduction in carbon emissions of 26 million pounds, which is 12 million kilograms. The creator of Grand Theft Auto, Rockstar North, has warned there might be a few teething problems as its online version of the brand new best-selling game is launched. Last week, Rockstar North admitted it was facing unanticipated pressure because sales of GTA V had been uh, stronger than expected. They have posted a blog post stating that they are working around the clock to buy and add more servers to their data centers. In the online version of their 18-rated violent crime game, up to 16 players can interact simultaneously within a virtual environment and create personalized avatars. It is included free with every copy of the GTA 5 console video game. According to analyst figures, more than 15 million units of the title have already been sold since early last week. Other bestsellers have faced issues after their servers failed to cope with demand previously. Owners of the electronic arts game Sims City, which requires players to be logged into its servers to play, experienced waits of up to 30 minutes to get started and then sluggish gameplay when it went on sale in March. EA later apologised and offered a free title to those affected as compensation. It said more people had logged on than it had expected, adding they then played differently to the way its testers had. The previous year, Activision Blizzard saw its servers for Diablo 3 come under severe pressure after its launch. The term hashtag error 37 trended on Twitter after players were shown the code alongside a message telling them to wait and try logging on later. At one point, the firm took its website offline to reduce demand. The leading UK rail industry, the National Rail, have recently announced plans to roll out high-speed mobile broadband across the busiest parts of Britain's rail network. By 2019, 70% of train passengers should have access to the faster technology, the Department for Transport added. 
A Network Rail spokesman added, as an industry, we recognise that the limited availability of mobile communications on Britain's rail network is not good enough. The programme will be industry funded. A new fibre optic network should be capable of handing up to 192,000 gigabits per second of data once the upgrade is complete in June 2014. The Rail Safety and Standards Board have forecasted that the telecommunications demand on Britain's railways could rise to 200 gigabits per second by 2018, which would still leave plenty of spare capacity on the upgraded system. Currently, train operating companies limit what kind of material can be downloaded on to mobile devices because each vehicle only has access to 2.5 megabits per second of data which must be shared among its passengers. As a result, the firm block access to video streaming uh, services such as iPlayer and Netflix. The UK is to create a new cyber unit to help defend national security, the Defence Secretary has announced. The Ministry of Defence is set to recruit hundreds of reservists as computer experts to work alongside regular forces in the creation of the new Joint Cyber Reserve Unit. The new unit will also, if necessary, launch strikes in cyberspace, Philip Hammond said. Recruiting for reservists to join the unit will start next month. The role of the unit is to protect computer networks and safeguard vital data. Mr Hammond told the Conservative Party conference that the threat is real. Last year, our cyber defences blocked around 400,000 advanced malicious cyber threats to the government. Secure internet alone, he said. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you'd like to read more about the topics that I've mentioned today, there will be links in the description below. Um, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.